you're happy to be here this morning say amen if god has already blessed you say amen if you're so convinced that after today's service any death thing in your life will resurrect back to life say amen jesus said to thomas he said blessed are they that believe even when they've not seen because thomas insisted to see him and prove that actually he was the one who has risen for you have not seen but you have heard and you believe may a blessing of the lord come upon you let your amen convince me hallelujah today is, is a popular story that christians all over the world is celebrating the resurrection of the only king we've always known the man we call the king of kings the lord of law the great and greatest god the higher than the highest the mighty than the mightiest the greatest god when he appeared before behind mary when mary realized it was him he said mary he answered him rabboni which is master he is the master of all masters i want you to wave your hands and call him the master call him the master call him the master amen may the lord bless you as you take him as your lord and master in the name of jesus christ can i hear you say a better amen this morning i want to talk on what i titled to the resurrection power the resurrection power hallelujah and i want to explain the word power the resurrection power that means there is something that is known as power inside the resurrection and this morning i, I want to I, I want to interpret what a lot of preachers has misunderstood a lot of people have seen resurrection as an event a lot of people have seen resurrection as a kind of problem of event but when i read through the scripture i understand that resurrection is not an event but that resurrection is a person touch your neighbor say neighbor i didn't hear you say neighbor resurrection is a person say neighbor resurrection is a person take me to john 11 24 to 25 then after that you will go to verse 43 of it 11 24 to 25 john chapter 11 yes sir verse 24 yes to 25 the matter said unto him i know that take it again john 11 24 to 25 matter said unto him matter said unto jesus i know that he shall rise again now mother said to jesus i know he shall rise again now listen look at what took place here when lazarus the brother to Martha and mary were so sick jesus were nowhere to be found when later on they saw jesus Martha said father i knew i believe i understand if you were there when my brother was sick my brother wouldn't have died continue Martha then said what I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. He said, I know if you were there, he wouldn't have died. But I believe that at the resurrection morning, my brother will do what? Rise again. I didn't hear you. My brother will do what? Rise again. I know my brother will rise again. And Jesus never allowed Mary to, a uh, matter to come down. Because for matter to say at the resurrection day, my brother will rise again the fight of matter was that his brother will rise again but matter was still a little blind to understand that resurrection is not an event when there will be a general resurrection the resurrection we talk about we are standing before him at that particular time then what did jesus tell him Jesus said unto her, He said unto Martha, I am the resurrection. I, Jesus, is what? The resurrection. Martha didn't notice that. 
but he knew that he was the son of God he understands that at the resurrection morning if he has lived a life with God that he will resurrect again so when Jesus talked with Martha Martha said sir I believe you are the resurrection morning my brother will rise Jesus said no resurrection morning is so far I the Lord that is standing before you is the resurrection and that was why the Jews were so blind to notice that Jesus was the resurrection that you went and buried the resurrection then he now because it is something that was meant to be he has to stay at the third day because he is the resurrection he came out can you bury a resurrection you can never bury a power of resurrection and Jesus said to Martha I is what go ahead and the life I am the resurrection and I am what life that means he can make dead he can make alive and Jesus proved it to matter in verse 43 what did he do in verse 43 and when he does had spoken uh -huh. he cried with a loud voice Jesus cried in a loud voice Lazarus come forth he said Lazarus thou shalt do what and what happened verse 44 what happened and he that was dead came forth and he that was dead came what forth so the resurrection himself went in there to prove to Martha and the Jews around that he was the resurrection himself that is why what we celebrate is not an event resurrection is not an event the resurrection is what a person somebody say a person a person John, for, John 14 verse 6 he said I am the way which means he way is a person I am the truth which means truth is a person and I am what the life he told Matt again I am the resurrection and the what and the life he re-explained it and re-explained it that every eye that is spiritually blind should open to an understanding that the resurrection we celebrate is a person not an event can I talk here can I talk Oh, yes. The resurrection is what? A person, not what? An event. People have made the resurrection morning service as an event whereby we are celebrating a person. Resurrection is a person. Tell your neighbor, resurrection is a person. Resurrection is a person. Tell somebody, resurrection is a person. Resurrection is a person. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Take me to John 12. 23 24 and Jesus answered them saying Jesus answered them saying the hour is come the hour is come that the son of man should be glorified the son of man should be glorified verily verily I say verily verily I said unto you except a corn of wheat except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die fall into the ground and die it abided alone it abided alone but if it die mm -hmm. it bringeth forth much fruit the reason for the death of Jesus was to save mankind if there is no death there will be no what there will be no what resurrection and the reason why he died was for mankind to be saved the power of darkness has overshadowed and taken over the life of men but the son of man needed to come and die so that it will germinate a new fruit that will make us have the fruit of the spirit so that the rest of the kingdom will not be in vain so the reason of the death of our lord jesus christ is to save what mankind blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord Hallelujah. take me to verse 25 and 27 of the same john 12. he that loveth his life shall lose it uh -huh. and he that hated his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal for you to live in this age of grace for you to run this way and run into the end you have to give your life when Jesus is talking about giving of life, he didn't say you should go and hang yourself. But in the race, there are things 
that are needed for you to run this race. I have noticed at this time, you see people, instead of them to go to church, they prefer going to party. They will tell you in that party, something good will come out. I've seen men that instead of them to even come to church, support the kingdom work, they will use that money and go and pay VIP in this sister period to go and watch somebody that is dancing in a club. When the Bible says give your life or you will give your life in this race, that doesn't mean you should go and hang yourself or shoot yourself. It means that it takes a lot of sacrifices for you to make this race a success and for you to make the kingdom of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Take me to John chapter 20. John 20. Yes, John chapter 20, 21 to 22. And it says, mm -hmm. Then Jesus said unto them again, And Jesus said unto them again, Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, As my Father has sent me, So even, even so sent I you. Uh -huh. And when he had said this, And when he had said this, He breathed on them, uh -huh. And said unto them, I said unto them, Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. When Jesus resurrected, You know there was some history that took place in the resurrection of Jesus. Because a time came, When Mary Magdalene, went to check on the body of jesus christ he was getting closer he looked at where the body was kept he couldn't see anything but he noticed there was linen he noticed the napkin that he was that they used the covering the heads and you know was packed to side he ran and reported it to peter the bible said peter was running to go where the body was kept other disciples were even faster than Peter. They outran Peter to go and check where the body was. When they got there, they couldn't see the body. When they waited and waited and waited, and there's nothing they could do, they now decided to go home. But the Bible recorded that Mary decided to stay back. I respect our mothers. When you have a good mother that have a heart of a mother. I, I was coming, listening to this. I was coming back on Friday. I missed my flight. Immediately I told my mother I missed my flight. My phone didn't rest. I had to go and look for another ticket, bought another ticket to start coming back on this Friday. Now, do you know that as landing, immediately I was on my phone, my mother. Have you landed? Yes. She said, Glory be to God. Within the next five minutes, she called again. I picked the phone. You've not got to home. Which kind of person is this? Before, before getting close to my street, the phone was ringing. I refused to pick. She kept calling, keep calling, keep calling, and the thing became boring. I refused to pick. You know, sometimes mothers can be so boring because every time they see you as a baby. The next day, I refused to call him that evening. The next day, I called him. I said, "Why will you be calling me like that? Am I a baby?" Say yes. Then my hands are still a small boy. The Bible says Mary Magdalene stayed back when the disciples left. And when he didn't just stay back, the Bible says she will bear weeping and crying, saying, Where is my Lord? Where have they taken him to? Because his body is no longer there. The Bible says, When he was crying, when she was crying, suddenly she looked at the front where the body was kept. The Bible said, Behold, she saw two angels, one sitting at the head where he was laid. And the other one sitting at the feet. And when she was crying, those angels asked him, Women, why weepest thou? And Mary said to them, The body of my Lord has been taken away. And suddenly, somebody says, Suddenly, Jesus appeared behind Mary. And Jesus said, Why are you crying? Mary thought it was one of those gardeners. She began to say, I don't know where you people have kept the body. Can you come and tell me? And immediately Jesus knew that he was thinking it was somebody else. Jesus mentioned her by her name. Mary. And Mary understands that voice. She didn't even turn back to answer. She replied and said, Rabboni. Rabboni means master. 
she said master i hear you jesus said go and tell my disciples that i have risen Hello. let me prophesy to somebody here any case you're going through may jesus appear before you may you receive resurrection in the name of jesus out of joy mary stood up and began to run after the disciples he said master said i should tell you he has risen <laughs> oh thank you holy ghost what can wash away my sin? Oh Lord, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Precious is the Lord. Oh, precious is the Lord that makes me white as snow. No other power I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. There was something that touched me in i think that other thing is written in john chapter 19. the bible says you know in that time it, the, the lord of the jews says is is not they, they cannot leave someone in the cross on the sabbath day and you know after they crucified them they, they now decided to go and bring them down because they are that that period was a preparation of the sabbath day when they got there they went and broke the legs of other people that was with jesus so when they brought them down when they got to jesus the bible said they noticed that jesus was already dead so one of the soldiers decided to pierce his sword by the side of jesus the bible said lo and behold the man who was dead began to produce water and blood which is an evidence that he was dead but he is alive Oh, precious is the Lord that makes me wild as snow. No other found I know. Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. I keep imagining how was that stone rolled away when you go to what happened in matthew 28 you will discover that even when the soldiers that was kept to guide the grave saw that he was not there they were saying let, let, let us go and tell them that he ran away he jumped through the fence he jumped through he never jumped from anywhere jesus was the resurrection himself you can never bury a resurrection a resurrection remains a resurrection he said to matter i am the resurrection i am equally the life when you bury me i will come back alive and let me say something to you when jesus was buried he was busy moving in the gate of hell and the bible says a voice came and say lift up your hands oh ye get so that the king of glory shall come in the bible said he now went and came back with the key of hell when he resurrected and saw the disciples the bible said when he saw them what did he say to them he said to the disciples receive the baptism of what the holy ghost what does that mean for you to resurrect on the resurrection morning the resurrection himself must have to live in you and the only way the resurrection must live in you is for the resurrection through the third office which is the office of the holy ghost to live in you if you have not received the baptism of the holy ghost you will not resurrect on the resurrection morning huh. 
language she understands that voice for her to turn because she thought well, it was one gardener behind her but when she thought she turned and said Rabboni, my master which means he understands the language of heaven i don't know who understands the language of heaven here but if you do not understand i prophet not so i understand sir. and i'm using my faith to connect to your faith whatever that is not working in your life shall i hear the voice of god It's a mystery here. Ha. Ha. Oh, I tell you, there is a whole promise. Ha, 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 ha. Man, the little boy shot. Ha, ha. I would cleave to the whole promise. I hear you. Oh, yeah. Say what? Say one more time. And I cherish the whole of the cross. Yeah. 